I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Good morning and win forever. Thank you so much for tuning in one more time. This is Blevoy and I am Timothy, your host for today. I'm a pastor. I'm a, a, a presenter too in this one. And uh, I thank God for you that you are coming in. I want to appreciate you now. Before you continue to do anything, I request you to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Whatever you are doing now there, any other place, please go down there press that subscription button you will see a bell then dot that all subscription anything we do here we post here on time we will have you notified and uh, another thing i want you to do please comment down here so that many people who are impressed or blessed by this kind of content and this kind of someone, this kind of recommendation or this kind of analytics, this kind of these episodes we do here will always be in a way the algorithm can find them wherever they are. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, I want to talk about one thing in this episode about two nations. There is a prophetic conference uh, that happened in different places, not only really one place, even in Nigeria. At one moment, uh, Prophet TV Yishu also mentioned it. Prophets that have come to Kenya and gone there in Nairobi really, really mentioned this. Not now. It started when we could go to crusades way back 30 to something years down the line there. And uh, they could hold crusades and say, Kenya and even other prophets, major prophets we have in this nation have talked about this, that Kenya and Nigeria will be the central point, like the server of how revival will happen in the world, not just in Africa. Those will be the central coordination spots by the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit that will generate the end time revival. And that's when you start seeing different things. In Kenya right now, if you go there, you will realize there's a problem that is taking place within the elections that have been happening consecutively for the past 13 years, for the past 20 years. There has been a lot of problems in the issue. So anytime the devil smell revival, there is, there is always instability. I want you to mark that anytime the devil smell revival, there will always be instability. Yes, instability. Any moment Satan smell revival, there will always be instability. The devil will want to bring instability so that the people of God will not concentrate on the revival that is happening. Even in Nigeria, you had the elections that are almost concurrent. In Kenya, there was elections on August 2022, last year. I'm talking now, it is uh, on 19th. It is 19th, uh, March 2023. Then, in Nigeria, elections was in this same March, in this year, 2023. Now, what happened in Nigeria and what happened in Kenya is exactly the same. You find the scenario of who won. It is like there is a possibility no one knew who won the election. In Kenya, it's the same problem. In Nigeria, it's the same problem. Now, I come up to conclusion that even in Nigeria, even in Kenya, the time to birth revival has already come. We can see prophets talking about you hear every major part of the prophetic grace that is working. They support revival season. Right now, you go to any crusade in these stadiums, they packed full. Packed full. The stadium is packed full. Every place is packed full. People are hungry for God. And the devil is also not sleeping. Many times you find that he also raises obstacles to deal with issues that he cannot understand. What do we do now is back to prayer for revival.